that was my first death and uh, I got my throat slit. Okay. It's your first death. You think, oh, great. But uh, then it, <laughs> it goes on and on and on. <laughs> But uh, Almond's relationship with his daughter provided many of Knights of the Zodiac's most emotionally pungent scenes. Uh, I hope that none of your children in real life have threatened the safety of our planet, but uh, did Almond teach you anything new in regards to being a father? Um, not really. Uh, okay. I, uh, I think he's, uh, he's a father. He's, he's uh, a father, a mentor. and But it's a slightly different situation because... You know, he's bringing up the goddess Athena. <laughs> so, you know, she's a bit, uh, uh, you, you know, uh, she she can uh, uh, be a bit difficult. Not not difficult with me, but with my ex-wife and, um, <laughs> you know, obviously, <laughs> and all, all the cosmos that, that she kind of received. And, um, no, it's just I, I thought he was a vel very well-rounded, very well-written character, Um uh, it was sympathetic and that um, followed his true passion, uh, which was mythology, Greek mythology, ancient history, folklore, that kind of stuff. And, and um, to come across uh, this young girl, this little baby, really, uh, was kind of almost a de this, his destiny to, to, to find something that he believed in, he studied, he was passionate about, and to come across this, which he's probably searched for all his life, uh, w w was quite a, a massive turning point in his life. And uh, from then on, we, we, you know, you go on to see how things develop with his, his, his you know, his then wife, Gurad, who, who they, you know, they were happily married and uh, things changed dramatically when, when a, a Sienna comes into our life. And, uh, yeah. Um, so, so I guess he's got a, a, a father's responsibility, but on top of that, he's got the responsibility of what he believes is a goddess and and the wisdom and the and the good things that she can bring to the world. Oh, absolutely. And um, my next question: uh, You seem to be well aware that a majority of your creatures you've or creatures uh, characters you've played have perished <laughs> on camera. Uh, for you, what are some of your most memorable deaths that you've had to act out? throughout your career? I suppose uh, Lord of the Rings was a good one. I, I, my first death was a, a film called Caravaggio, which is about the artist Caravaggio and Derek Jarman film. And it was a, a wonderful guy, great director. And uh, that was my first death and uh, I got my throat slit. Which, okay. It's your first death, you think, oh, great. But uh, then it, it goes on and on and on. I suppose the best death was uh, uh, Boromir in Lord of the Rings. That was a very epic kind of uh, epic death. It was very emotional, very moving. And, uh, and oh, absolutely. Peter Jackson allowed me enough time to die and she milked it and got you know, great music and pathos. So, yeah, oh, I like just... that one. Just all of it coming together so well. Uh, yeah. I, I imagine your uh, uh, James Bond death, having to react to a satellite falling oh, on yeah. you, was a little yeah. uh, hard to put into your brain. <laughs> that was, yeah, at the time as well, because green screen, you know, it wasn't oh, yeah. as advanced it is now. So we had to use our imagination quite a lot on that. Absolutely. Um, well, uh, I'm kind of running out of time, so I'll get to uh, another one that I definitely wanted to ask you. Uh, with Game of Thrones franchise seeing a resurgence thanks to House of the Dragon, or a lot of my friends like to call it Hot D, uh, with a couple of spinoff series in the works, uh, would you be open to playing Ned Stark again in some sort of flashback or side story? I don't know if he'd ever be incorporated again, would he? I don't, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not kind of... Um... You know, I'm that that clued up about the follow, and I've heard it's really good. You know, I'm going to try and oh, yeah. see that. Uh, but yeah, it's always nice to think that you could be involved in some way in such a in such a great uh, kind of series, such a, a something that was 
it became worldwide. I don't think at the time that we knew what Lord of the Rings, how big that was going to turn out. And the same with Game of Thrones. So, you know, and it's something that, I, you, you know, if, if I, I'm ever asked again, it'd be, be nice to be involved in some way. And I, I mean, that, with Knights of the Zodiac, you know, I wasn't familiar with how vast that was and the, the scale, the popularity and, and the, the following it had. So, you know, maybe that, that will be one day become a similar kind of thing.